The press are reporting that the Prime Minister is taking a short holiday with his wife and young family to Marbella. Now, I'm not sure whether the PM followed the rule of no carbs before Marbs, and God knows what he'll be wearing when he goes running on the beach. The mind boggles, doesn't it? He'll probably opt for a duffel coat or a dinner suit, knowing him. But notwithstanding press criticism of this holiday or his apparel for which he goes out jogging, I consider this to be a good news story. Love him or loathe him, the Prime Minister has had a year and a half to forget. Achieving his dream, not quite of World King, but of Prime Minister in December 2019, he has been presented with an awful deck of cards, rivalled only perhaps by that of Winston Churchill, his political hero. He almost died from Covid and he's pre been presented with an economic and health crisis, the likes of which we may not see again for another 100 years. And here's hoping. Even his short trip to Cornwall in August was interrupted by the crisis in Afghanistan. So if anyone deserves a break, it's Bojo. I don't like the petty, small minded way in which we begrudge our politicians a proper holiday or a work life balance. In the end, even if you didn't vote for the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, he is your Prime Minister. It's in your and all of our interests for him to succeed. He needs to be well, fit and energetic for the job. And he's got his work cut out when he returns. Getting the country back on a path to recovery, balancing the books, solving the energy crisis, levelling up, stimulating the economy and getting us back to normal. So have a nice holiday, Boris. Enjoy the sun umbrellas, the cocktails and the all-inclusive buffet. Because when it's over, you'll be back in the office too. And you've got more work to do than anyone. This is GB News.